hello hello everybody welcome back if you're new here my name is Priska and then behind my voice today I'm kind of having some cold going on but it doesn't matter we're going to make this message today so today we are talking about fasting and how Jesus used to fast and uh, what he said what he you know in the Bible he explains to us how fasting should be done any I mean when you are a Christian and have to fast Jesus uh, in his time uh, when he used to fast he would normally take a time for himself and God and what he was doing there during his fasting was only between him and God and this is the main reason why Jesus said in uh, Matthew 6 uh, uh, 16 to 17 uh, if you read uh, Jesus said if we when we are fasting we should not fast like the hypocrites what do Jesus really mean by that in my own understanding is when you're doing thing and pretending when you're pretending to be what you are really not doing what you really don't really like doing but doing it and pretending to like it or pretending to make us if you are better than other people and pretending to show that uh, you are closer to God than any other people and that you are a good, good believer a good Christian and doing what you're supposed to be doing of which you really do not mean it from your heart I guess that's the meaning of uh, hypocrites you can write in the comment section below and tell what, what you understand by when Jesus said uh, hypocrites here uh, in my Bible if you have your Bible you can read with me here Jesus talk about fasting from Matthew uh, chapter 6 verse 6 uh, from 16 to 17 here I read when you fast say Jesus when you fast do not look sober as the hypocrites do for they disfigure, they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. And 17 read, But when you fast, put oil on your head, wash your face, so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your father who is sitting who is unseen and your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you so it means whatever we do when we fast when we pray and show it to other people and make it and made it known to other people that we are doing that we have our rewards in full i mean we from what is rewards from humans what can people give you so it's just like oh she's a good Christian this person is a good we pray they fast and that's your reward of which if your reward is from God it is very big so the creator of all things when he rewards you you can imagine no imagination is big enough to understand that so do not make your fasting cheap do not announce to everybody when you fast do not make it known to people that you fasted even when you're praying when you're going without food you don't need to explain to anybody why you are without food me for example when i fast i struggle i don't like fasting but sometimes as christian as believer we need to fast so that that's it when you're fasting don't show to people that you're doing that if you want god to reward you and to hear your prayers do not do like the hypocrites like jesus said because hypocrites they are pretender they pretend to be what they are not allow people to judge and condemn you as far as god is with you as long as god is with you and god do not condemn you nothing nobody can condemn you if God does not curse you, nobody can curse you. It's only God that has that power of your life. So, um, regardless on my voice situation today, I hope this message has um, this message has uh, reached someone and will definitely help you during your fasting days and time. And even though it seems so hard 
to me i would not lie to you sit here and say like fasting is very easy it's not because when you decide to fast that's where you feel even more hungry than what you used to do some days i can go without food teach you of or one without anything but i will not think about it but once i set my mind to fast and pray then my body tends to remind me all the time about food and the smells of things around food around me that's the mo that's the moment that i want more food my best advice in this during fasting is when you fast it and you feel really hungry and you're belly is craving and screaming for food pray that's the best moment to pray and think about your struggles whatever you're going through that's the moment to think about it and compare it with your hunger which one is bigger your petition to god is bigger than your stomach your stomach will always need food but sometimes you need to let it know that you are the one in control and your belly is not one controlling you but i'm not saying it's easy but with god all things are possible and for this new year that is coming I'm looking forward. It is I'm from now on cutting out impossibilities. I refuse to believe anything is impossible for me to reach. Anything is impossible for God to do for me. I refuse to take that in again. And this is my choice. And I hope you can follow me in this journey. And for your own best, stop limiting yourself. And I wish you a very, very beautiful new year starting next week. And may the year 2024 be the best ever for you in your spiritual life, especially because it's for you, for the salvation of your soul. You're, you are not alone. Always hold that and always remember that. God bless you. Until next time. Goodbye.